the rest of the air cleaner parts painted and primed. Bottom has a dent right there, but I don't really mind. Oil level right there, as you can see. Right there. Came out pretty nice. You can see there's like a flower pattern stamped in the metal. It's pretty darn cool. That came out nice. Put it down gently. And this piece came out nice too. For the actual filter sets. No runs, no drips, there's a dent there. Way better than I did on the top part. I, I did a primer and a base coat or paint, whatever you want to call it. And I took my time. And these will lay flat. These will set down flat. Like that. So it won't run. It won't do anything. Like the top of it, really, I was not happy with. You take this guy. You don't paint the bottom because that sets any oil. You set that down in there. There's a little gasket it sits in. And there you have that piece of dirt stuck to the bottom not too shabby and then I have the top piece to go on top so I'll put that together here in a second the little details are what makes it this is an OEM sticker came from GM as you can see on the back gotta put that on ear cleaner like new. Now put all the parts together. Face that the proper direction. Boom, there you go. There she is. Not too bad. All cleaned up. Got the original factory decal down there. I think she looks pretty snazzy.
pretty darn nice. And then I see Mr. Fruit Fly. Come on, focus. Focus. Oh, well, it's not focusing. Right there, there's a little fruit fly. Stuck right in the paint. I mean, that looks good for a fan. I got the fan painted and the mounting bolts painted. So let's go ahead and get her all mounted up on the engine. Alright, so the fan's in there with its nice painted bolts and it looks good. Took a bit of finger fiddling to get her in there because there's not much space as you can see from my hand. Not a ton of space between the radiator and the fan. So getting those in and lined up, the first one at least was pretty difficult. And the rest of them, once the first one was in, the rest of them were okay. So that's that step done. So a quick recap under the hood here. Took off the fan, took off the belt, took off the valve cover checked the entire valve train, rolled the engine over by hand, and with the starter, took off the spark plug cover, uh, stripped and painted the valve cover, spark plug cover, the three pieces of the air cleaner, stripped and painted the fan, and the fan bolts, then put everything back together. Hopefully now, in the will it run video hopefully it'll run i need to 
get a battery to go down there, a nice long six volt battery. I need to go through the electrical because as you can see uh, over there somewhere, I don't know if you can see it or if I can find an example, but the insulation on some of these wires has perished. So I got copper on copper and I don't want to burn this car down. So I got to figure out some of that electrical stuff, but then hopefully we can do a will it run video. It looks much better than it did before. Obviously it's not done yet because I still haven't painted, stripped and painted anything down there, or the block or anything, or this cover, or the oil filter housing, none of that. But I just painted what I took off when I was checking the valve train. So looks way better. Hopefully it'll start and, and run. But that will be another video. Thanks for watching.